Good morning, Mobu High Squad. Yes. It's another beautiful morning. Look at RJ. Hi. Nice hat. It's supposed to be like something like this. <laughs> Guys, we're gearing up because today is a massive day. We're about to do something really, really fun. Mm -hmm. Yes, the guys, Mabu High Squad. Today, we are going to. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Shooting another parody. Yes. Guys, there's Ton, DOP, music editor, everything. Seriously. His brother Christian, yes. This is gonna be awesome. Of course, there's Koya Ryan, our driver. And guys, we're going to his house to film, right? For those of you who uh, saw the previous vlog where we went to Koya Ryan's house for an ocular, um, it's because we were checking it out to see if we could possibly shoot there for this new parody. And yeah, it turned out to work out. So everything's set. See, got costume, everything. This parody is, of course, the parody to Senorita by Camila Cabello and Shawn Mendes. I love this song because it's very musically rich and like the right the melodies are so Spanish. Oh, it was so fun to record. The instruments, yeah, it's it's really a great song. So this will be a fun song to parody as well. Hi there. What's your name? Are you friendly? Don't worry, I won't touch you. Look at this rooster. Like. It just totally jumps up here on its own. I have a hen at home who would love you. All right, guys. So for those of you who um, haven't seen the parody yet, I do believe the parody is out right now by the time you're watching this. So be sure to watch it after this video if you haven't seen it yet. The concept is my mom is visiting me from Canada and I tell her I'm going to cook for her. And she asks me to cook goat calderetta, which is a very famous Filipino, Filipino stew and the only problem is I can't kill my goat because it's my pet so the whole video traces the hilarity that ensues <laughs> and my struggle like trying to kill my pet goat so that I could cook for my mom and this Ryan's place is perfect because it's very kind of farmish even though he doesn't live on a farm. I see turkey. Ooh, turkey. Yes. Oh, you Filipinos. Did you know that there are turkey here in the Philippines? Turkeys came here because they're a North American bird. They came here through the um, Mexico-Philippine trade centuries ago. Isn't that crazy? The Mexicans and Filipinos used to trade. Oh, so this is our star. Hi there. Hey. Hi there. Yes, you're gonna be a very famous goat. Can I pet you? I'm your friend. We're gonna be best friends by the end of today. Yes, you're such a beautiful, beautiful goat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't worry, I won't hurt you. Yeah, such a good goat. You see, with goats, you kind of just have to let them know that you're a friend. Oh, and he's clearly a boy. <laughs> Where You wanna go run? <laughs> okay guys, first order of business, mosquito repellent. Even though the mosquitoes are not as big as they are in Canada, they can be deadly. Dengue is a big problem here. So we gotta make sure the mosquitoes don't find me a tasty treat, you know what I'm saying? And spread this all over, like tanning lotion, you know what I mean? Let's see you take a bite of me now, mosquitoes. Hairspray? Yes. Guys, meet my makeup artist. <laughs> I need to pray. I'm shining. <laughs> I don't know. Dude. Oh my, it's so powderish. It's just powder. Look at my eye bags. I don't wear, wear makeup for these parodies usually, but some of our greatest parodies. My skin is so bad. <laughs> I don't have budget for makeup. <laughs> Low budget parody. OMG, we just filmed the first scene. This. Animals are working wait, wait. exactly on cue. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the animals here are stars. Koya Ryan's animals are stars. <laughs> Awesome! Wow, it's like a movie! Yes, of course. <laughs> See that? That's great! Guys, Tone is so good with like lighting, uh, framing, all of that. <laughs> he saw this area as like Hollywood opening scene. So good. So you, you guys check out that. That's right. And guys, he also has a channel about uh, cinematography. Yeah, yeah. Um, filmmaking and stuff. Yes. Yeah, what is it again? Uh, just uh, my name, Cheston Ui. Yes. So check it out. Check it out. Subscribe. Thank That's you. That's right. I love that the animals are doing exactly what we need them to. 
Look at that. <laughs> Your animals are stars. <laughs> okay, now um, the next shot for the opening scene, which we're filming now, is me talking to my mom for the first time and discovering that she's coming to visit me from Canada. Um, and it's actually, it's kind of an homage to Balik Bayan Box. Have you seen that? That was like the first of our, I guess, or second of our major viral parodies. And in that, in the opening scene of Balik Bayan Box, I come out of my home and I'm like, Hello, mommy? You're sending what? Hello? Mommy? <gasps> You're sending what? But in this case, she's just telling me that she's visiting me here and it's it's kind of a similar thing where my mom's calling me and she's gonna come visit me. It's really exciting. It's also tough because I have to perfectly match my talking to the audio which we recorded. So my timing has to be just right. It's your time to shine. Mm hmm. Yes. Your time to shine. Emote, okay? Millions of people will see you. You're representing goats all over the world. You know what I'm saying? Here, goat, look into camera. Here, look, see? Right here. It's Malungai. I know you want this. I know you want it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Nothing to see here guys. I'm just walking my goat. Can't wait to do this in real life. Yes. He's like freedom. I love this goat. Here you go. Have some malungai. Yes. RJ. RJ just said he has big balls. And you know why? It's because I think goats are like... They have multiple partners when they mate. So males need to compete, obviously. So they have big balls, so they produce a lot of sperm. A lot of animals that aren't so polygamous, like gorillas, where the alpha male only gets to mate, apparently have small balls. I mean, they have less competition. It's more about fighting. But I guess goats have fun. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Come, come, come. Here you go. Follow the Malone guy. Come on. Come on. You could do it. I wish I had a herding dog. Go, go, go. This way. This is the wrong way to the set. Okay, this way. Yes. All right. Come on. One day I'm going to be the goat whisperer when I can understand them better. Okay, wait. You're just like tying yourself up. Yes, this way. Exactly. This way. Yup. You got it. Right there. Good goat. Yes. Yes, Billy. Billy the goat. He's like, ooh, this is a new place. Billy I goat. You are doing so well, Billy. Mm-hmm. Mabu High Squad. So here's the deal. We actually bought this goat, and RJ and I are debating whether it should be part of the Mabu High Squad farm. Oh. What do you guys think? Huh? I'll put a I poll here for you guys to vote. Go. Yes or no? Should it come with us on the farm? Hmm? Uh. Meanwhile, meanwhile, <laughs> Koya Ryan will keep it for us till the farm's ready. Billy, I go. Huh, Billy? You wanna be part of our Mabuhai squad farm? We won't eat you, trust me. <laughs> Unless it's an apocalypse. <laughs> Just kidding. Drone shot! All the way up there is the drone. Let's hope it doesn't spook the goat. <laughs> uh, what kind of drone is this, Tom? It's a DJI Mavic Air. Mavic Air, Air. wow. It's so much smaller than the Mavic, Mavic Pro, Pro yeah. which I have. Oh, it's like tiny. Literally the size of a cell phone, kinda. All right, guys, so we've been filming. Come, 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 come. Here, you want water? There's tea. And this goat has been totally cooperative. Like, super duper built for the big screen. Here, I've got water for you. Yes, some water. Fresh water. Gotta keep filming. You have one last scene, goat, and you're done. It's a wrap. These goats are awesome little factories. They eat like anything vegetable, like even the skin of banana peels. You see that? We're now trying to take a shot from inside the freezer. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge because yeah, we can't uh, actually stick it in the freezer. It'll be partly closed, but in the video it'll look like I just opened the freezer. Let's do this. My God, I have two hours to buy myself, thank you for 
Okay, so this is the final scene where they're gonna lift the goat so that it peeks through the window at the end to reveal to the viewers that the goat is still alive. I didn't end up killing it. I didn't have the heart to kill my pet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so you basically have to just lift the goat. Yeah, we're gonna practice. Don't worry, goat. I know it's scary, but you oh He's so okay with it. Yes, like that. Exactly like that. Yeah, you have to duck. Yeah. OMG, this this goat is so tame. I've never met a goat that is okay with being picked up. Perfect. Oh, so good. Last one. Last take. This goat is so chill. Oh. All right. Cute. All right. Uh, and then down, down, down. Okay. All right. Yes. Thank you, Billy. Thank you, Billy. So good. Hi, doggy. You're so cute. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. Billy, you are such a great goat. Such a good goat. Mm -hmm. I hope you get to see your like senior years. And he's chill with other animals too, which is great. Okay. <laughs> The dog's like chastising the goat. He loves banana peel. You would be a little composting machine for me. Mm -hmm. I can already tell this is the boss dog of the family. This is the alpha dog. It's big, he goes around and checks everybody out. And look, it just looks like he's overseeing. Mabuhai squad, I can't wait till we have our alpha dog. I'm not sure what kind of dog that will be. Been doing my research and um, there are a few breeds that uh, I think are very compatible with what we're looking for on the Mabuhai Squad farm. Those breeds are Great Pyrenees, which are awesome dogs. Perfect. They're like overseer dogs. They look after livestock. They're also guard dogs. They're very high willed, um, so they must have their training, but they, they're independent. They have a mind of their own, that kind of dog. Um, and they stay up at night, so they will uh, guard your place in the evening. And they kind of lounge during the day. Um, only thing is, they are the perfect dog, however, apparently they don't do well in climates where it's hot and humid. So, like they get ear infections and all of this, so they say. But I will look into the breed more, because like I hear people in India have them and they're fine, etc. Um, Tibetan Mastiff as well is another one. Large dog, same thing, they like are livestock breeds apparently. Um, been looking at them. Now these two dogs, they're beautiful, but they're not exactly the nicest looking dogs. <laughs> Um, they're big and they're volume and they look like lions, you know what I mean? They're from like the mountains of Asia, like Tibet, you know what I mean? So very different kind of dog. Okay, we're shooting a scene. By the way, for those of you who don't know, Calderetta is a, a goat or beef stew. And my mom used to cook it growing up. It was one of the six meals on rotation during the week that my mom would make. And yeah, my mom made a killer calderetta. This here is chopped up goat meat. Let's not show Billy this. And the ingredients, it contains carrots, potatoes, um, some onions, garlic, pepper, and bell peppers and all that. But there are variations of it. My Oh, and it of course contains tomato sauce. This is not tomato sauce. Oh, tomato sauce there. Um, my mom puts coconut milk in it and it tastes so delicious. Whoops, sorry mommy, I, I exposed your secret ingredient. Well, with mine, I put buttermilk. RJ puts buttermilk. No, I don't have buttermilk, so the alternative or the substitute would be fresh milk and then I squeeze uh, lemon. Oh, to remove the gamey taste of the goat. Look how traditional, it's it's being cooked on like an open flame. See that? We don't have it. Yes, go, go, go. Guys, you know this? Do you know what this is? Most Filipinos know what this is, but I don't think a lot of Canadians in America know what this is. This here is called banana heart. It's basically the flower of a banana tree. So if you don't pick this off the tree, it becomes a bunch of bananas like this. I'll show you. See that up there? That bunch of bananas? That's what the banana heart becomes if you don't pick it. And actually, the bananas start forming even with the flower on it. It's really neat. Banana trees are so interesting. Cavendish bananas, guys. Those are the bananas we eat. And here in the Philippines, they just grow like openly in the wild. Like, look at all these banana trees. They are awesome. Love bananas. Um, plantains grow here as well. Philippines being a tropical country. And like, look at it. It's like, it's a very juicy plant. A very juicy tree. Like, if you were to cut this, it's like wet. Love bananas. 
You better believe we got banana trees on the Mabuhay Squad farm. Mm -hmm. And look, if you cut them down, oftentimes a new one will grow in its place. And banana trees, see look, see this banana tree here? A little one, baby one is growing. So this was the old banana tree. You cut it down, it grows a new one. It's a very resilient plant. <laughs> its roots go down to hell. You can't kill it. Almost like bamboo. Oh my guys, Ryan is giving us a rooster. For the farm? Yes, for the farm. Oh, thank you. Is this the housewarming gift? <laughs> guys, this is the rooster that will be part of the farm. Oh, he's beautiful. Guys, roosters are like so underrated. Look at how colorful this rooster is. <gasps> oh, he's so cute. He will father many chicks. <laughs> he's the husband of hope. All right. This is the future husband of hope. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> this is our arranged marriage happening here. That's name. Hope? What's his name? Enrique. His name is Enrique? Yes. For hope. Hi, hope Enrique. <laughs> Hi, Enrique. You're so cute. I'm just gonna take this bowl out. Enrique, you are so cute. I can't wait for you to move in with us. Mm hmm. We will make sure you have a wonderful stud life. This is the future cock of the Mabuhay Squad farm. Every morning. To wake us up every morning. What time? 6 a.m. All right. I love it. Sometimes they cock at 2 a.m. 2 a.m.? Yeah. Okay. Let's hope you don't crow at 2 a.m. Because Ligaya will copy you. <laughs> okay, guys. Remember when we didn't know if hope was a rooster or a hen so roosters have this spur this fifth digit on the back which they use for fighting hope doesn't have that she's got like this little tiny like pimple but these roosters have it and also look at the mane look at these feathers at the base of the neck they're sharp and also at the base of the tail that's how you know that it's a male so this is a rooster love those colors look at that look at that iridescence like seriously that looks like one of the colors from like shane dawson jeffree star's new palette last minute casting christian here is going to be the delivery boy food delivery we designed this shirt we were wondering what to call the delivery service we were gonna call it mabuhai delivery but or mabuhai fast delivery but this is better it's just called food delivery even the front he's got Okay, All right, start? legit. People will be called, they'll Mikey. see you and they'll be calling. Hi guys, I'm playing Mikey's mom now. Mm -hmm. oh. She's so shallow, you know. Okay, now we're shooting the car scenes. Mm -hmm. I'm playing Mikey's mom. I actually do look like Mikey's mom. <laughs> this were my, my real mom. Mikey, I have to pay for this, I have to pay for this, and this, and this, and this. Okay, here we go, it's a take. That's it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, we're finished. Woo! Well, the shots here <laughs> on this residence. Yes. Thank you, Koya Ryan. Now we just have to shoot more mom shots in the car and heading now to the airport. Yes. But before we have to go, Billy, come here. It's okay. I know I look like a woman, but it's just me. I don't know if I'm gonna see you again. I hope we do. If Mabuhay Squad says yes, that you should be our goat. The goat's a little weary of my mom. <laughs> Good judge of character. My mom grew up, I guess, in a rural town, so she knows how to slaughter animals. I had a pet chicken in Toronto growing up, and a rooster, and my mom killed both of them and turned them into adobo. And they were quite delicious. Thanks for letting us use your place. <laughs> Bye, Billy. We'll miss you. He even knows his name now. Bye, Billy. I have a feeling we will see him again. Ate, please take care of Billy. Don't cook him. Don't make him into caldereta. <laughs> please. <laughs> Alright Mavu High Squad, so back home there's Ligaya. Hi guys. Mm-hmm. Did you have fun playing with that LC today? The end of an epic shoot. So guys, if you haven't seen the new parody yet, go check it out. It's the Senorita parody <laughs> um, on my comedy channel. Be sure to click there to go watch it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Mavu High Squad. Now there is something I really would like to show you guys. Um, something I haven't shown you guys in a while, but um, it's super duper cool and a lot of you guys have been asking about this thing that I've kind of 
been holding back from you guys and haven't been showing you. Check it out. 